I'm Bessie Dean. Okay. Well, it had all of the land where the, the firehouse is, and right up to McCobb's lawn, the, mm -hmm. the house next to mm -hmm. us. And that's another place we used to play because they had a built up lawn. Mm -hmm. And we pay Toby's land, <laughs> we called it. Well, we'd run, somebody would be Toby, or two or three would be, be Toby. And then they'd run up on the land and you try not to get caught by them. But if you did, then you're out. And you're out. <laughs> and the would Toby caught you. <laughs> you're out. Um, then another thing that the older girls, did was go out in the wall out um, back of the schoolhouse. There's a field out back, mm -hmm. and there was a stone wall. And they'd take out rocks and make a little round, sort of a, call it a house, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. playhouse. Yeah. And then they'd bring things to put into it and so forth. Oh, the little girls? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So. Uh, I never had one because I never had anything to put into it. <laughs> <laughs> did, or did you bring your lunch or did you go home for lunch? No, we always brought our lunch. Brought your lunch, yes. yeah. And you'd eat it in the schoolhouse? Yes. Yeah. And you had eight grades in there. Mm -hmm. One teacher. Mm -hmm. Wow. How did they do that? Because some of them, if they acted up, they got stood in the corner. Right up oh. by the blackboard in the corner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they had a big round stove and it had a galvanized thing built onto it so it went right around it so you wouldn't get burned. Oh, okay. Anything. Yeah. But um, that was all they had and one of the some one of the older boys would come early and build the fire. So it was a wood fire. But yeah. sometimes I can remember we used to like to do it, which was bad. <laughs> Everybody was cold so they'd yeah. feet stamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she'd get after us. Yeah. <laughs> but but we, li we wore heavy long underwear then, yeah. Yeah. so it was yeah. pretty good, you see. And, and the uh, each grade, sort of, uh, two or three grades, kind of stuck together. Yeah, yeah, that's so, all good. There was a lilac bush that the seventh and eighth grade planted there. And when we dug the hole to plant the lilac bush, we put a bottle with our names in it, huh. in the hole. Huh. And now that the lilac bush is gone, I don't know whether they ever dug that up or not. Do you, where was it? I have a pretty good idea. Next I, to the schoolhouse, or? Yeah. It's, it's towards the road from the schoolhouse. Huh. And I don't know. Because uh, I suppose, as far as I know, it's still grassed over. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Your name? My name is Ruth Felton. I was born here in the house uh, in a room that doesn't exist anymore because it's been uh, enlarged into the dining area. So uh, I did school when I was four. I was going to be five in November. There was no restrictions on deadlines for being five at a certain time at that time. And uh, my folks were the Teamsters, they called them. Yeah, they drove a uh, 1926 Buick that had, uh, I think they called them jump seats, uh, and bumper seats, anyway, to give more room to, for our students, hold more students. And they. I'm gonna. Okay, um, so either mother or dad, whoever was available, uh, drove the car. Most of the time it was my mother, because dad would be doing other other things. And uh, 
we used to get to school and the teacher would already be there because she would have started the furnace to have it warm for those of us arriving. And uh, then we'd al always have a recess and go outside, whether it was cold or not. And uh, yeah, it was a wood furnace. It was a big, big round outer area that well, was looked like aluminum or something. But the stove heating element was like a wood stove would be that you would have today. I went there from, oh, let's see, it was born, probably in 1930 through 37 or 8. I think it was 38, although I skipped a class. Um, my sister was a year ahead of me in school. And uh, I had Lena Rankin for a teacher for probably the first eight years, I mean uh, six years, and then Ellen Connors was there one year, and Louise Ugly was there my eighth grade. She was uh, a very strict teacher, but I felt she prepared me very well for high school. I uh, got good grades in school. And uh, and she was was strict, but uh, a good teacher. Huh? There were just two of us in the eighth grade, Geneva Knight and myself, and we had a, a like a graduation program, and we were both supposed to sing this song that we I'm not sure who composed it, whether we did or the teacher, and come. That night, the graduation night, Geneva was sick, and I had to sing that song by myself. And as anybody knows, I'm not a good singer. <laughs> I don't sing in church. I just watch. <laughs> I don't. 